this session is about symbols to C data types. Uh, you probably created some C codes and uh, you want to convert the C codes uh, through the uh, enumerations and data types that you previously built. It's also possible by using uh, HyperDVG. HyperDVG uses PDBX uh, tools directly in the in the HyperDVG binary to build these kind of things and just uh, integrates the symbol servers and the things that we have uh, in uh, our current debugging station with the PDBX so we can uh, easily uh, see uh, the different uh, structures uh, and different enumerations okay uh, the next next thing is that we can also make a structures uh, based on uh, these symbols like for example we can make extract uh, the token a structure of the windows by using extract nt bank uh, underline token command uh, the, uh, the thing is that it's pretty usable uh, you can directly uh, use the result generated by HyperDVG in your C or C++ project but you should make sure that this information might be changed and will be changed actually in the future versions of Windows so uh, if you perform any modification in your specific uh, C++ or C project then it won't it will probably not valid in the future version of Windows but it's uh it is still working and possible in your current version. Uh, you can also create a dump from every uh, single uh, enumerations and uh, data types that are uh, available in a uh, module. For example, you can use extract nt bank star uh, output that h uh, uh, output which saves the output in in a file let's say nt.h and it basically uh, saves everything every structures in order um, uh, just everything is ordered to make to make it possible for the to be compiled uh, you can import it in your project now let's see a demo of this extract uh, command uh, <clears throat> Uh, as you can see, we could uh, use this command to create uh, structures, to create C structures uh, for our programs. For example, uh, struct nt underline e process. Let's run it. I just configured the uh, symbol map here, and now I want to uh, run this command. As you can see here, it says that the, uh, that it couldn't resolve it because we are not uh, connecting to any debugger. I want to use it locally. So I uh, use sim reload uh, to force HyperDVG to create a, a symbol map for us. Again, uh, we use the same command. And as you can see here, we have a structure which we can copy and use it in our C programs. Uh, the same thing also works for uh, enumeration. For example, uh, let's use it with uh, NT power action or other interrupts that are available in public symbols of Microsoft. Uh, you can see uh, that the, in, uh, the C based enumeration is extracted from the uh, symbols and it's here uh there are also other options like uh exporting uh exporting uh, uh, uh headers into a function into a file uh for example i use this command to uh export all symbols all uh, structures all uh, functions and all enumerations into this output file uh and here so i go to nt header as you can see the enumerations are defined here and uh, after that we have uh, the structures uh, the exported public symbol structures here uh, 
uh, and the structure are recursively available. For example, that pro that e, uh, for example, e process contains some recursive uh, uh, structures that are also available in this file. Uh, again, if we want to use, uh, for example, uh, if we want to also export the functions, we could use func yes here. So I try to run this command, but this time. Uh, set it as nt uh, header uh, two. Uh, uh, you can see that HyperDVG also creates a, an export of available function names as these uh, as these uh, functions are from public symbols. The parameters uh, for these functions are not available. And here, uh, and this is how you can use this uh, data struct command.